So forgive me for making you travel all the way out here, but when someone rings me up and says he wants to dispute the most significant event in human history, I feel it's important that we do it face to face, don't you? Yeah, that's fine. I, uh, I, I appreciate your time. <clears throat> So, my line of attack is this. The reason the eyewitnesses were able to see Jesus after Golgotha is because he never died on the cross. Because if he doesn't die, there's no resurrection, yes? That's right. So, so whether or not Jesus himself or, uh, or someone else took him off of the cross early, or if he fakes his own death, it doesn't matter. It completely discounts every aspect of the resurrection. Right, the swoon theory. Yeah, but he passed out. He didn't die. I'm afraid there's a long line of skeptics in front of you with that hypothesis including only a billion Muslims the world over who also don't believe that Jesus died on the cross because the Quran says so. With all due respect to Islam, the Quran was written six centuries after Christ. I prefer my historical sources a bit closer to accurate. I understand, but, but, yeah. but you can see that it's possible. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Strobel, I am a medical doctor and a scientist. I have seen a great many strange phenomena in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. But the swoon theory is rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. That's uh, is that a, a medical opinion? <laughs> you know, it is actually. Um, Swoon theorists tend to skim over the fact that Jesus was flogged prior to his crucifixion. Do you know what happens in a Roman flogging? Um, yeah, the person is lashed with a whip. No, not lashed. Scourged and pummeled savagely. You see, the the cowhide whip is braided with metal balls and bone fragments. The flesh on Jesus' back would have been shredded. The very muscles and sinews themselves laid open to exposure. The flogging itself would have left Jesus in critical condition for massive blood loss, which is why he collapsed under the weight of the cross that the Romans made him carry through town. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it possible that Jesus survives being spiked to the cross? Oh, yes, you could survive it, but it's child's play compared to what comes next in a crucifixion. Slow, agonizing death by asphyxiation. Come with me. The stress on Jesus' chest muscles would have locked his lungs into the inhale position. Right? So in order to let the breath out, he would have had to shove himself up using his spiked wrists and feet, scraping his shredded back against the wood of the cross and then sagged back down again in order to draw his next breath, which he would have had to have done over and over and over again until utter exhaustion just made it impossible. And then inevitably, he dies uh, in, in theory. But let's, let's remember, these soldiers, they're not doctors, okay? So maybe, uh, maybe they took him off the cross and they, they thought he was dead, but in fact, he wasn't. No, of course they weren't medical doctors. They were professional killers, right? And they were quite good at their job. They, they had to be. If a prisoner escaped alive, they themselves would be executed. <sighs> Mr. Strobel, the crucifixion of Jesus is one of the best attested events in the ancient world. And, if you will, the final nail in the coffin of <laughs> Eastman theory is this. When the soldiers thrust their spear between Jesus' ribs, do you know what came out? Blood and water, which we now know is a description of pericardial effusion as a result of death by asphyxiation. This is not a condition anyone could fake. And so to answer your question, yes, it is my medical opinion that Jesus Christ died on that cross. Excuse me, doctor. A moment. Yeah, but, but, but I, gotta, I have a real problem with most of the experts that I've talked to here. Which is? Uh, which is that most of them are not impartial, and if I'm gonna take a guess, I would say that you are not either. And you would be correct, sir. Though I have learned that most impartial travelers who undertake this journey rarely remain so. However, I can refer you to one of the most impartial sources that I know. You trust the Journal of the American Medical Association. Of course, it is a stellar scientific journal, you and I will admit that. On the physical death of Jesus, <clears throat> clearly the weight of the medical and historical evidence indicates that Jesus was dead before the wound to his side was inflicted. Accordingly, interpretations based on the assumption that Jesus did not die on the cross appear to be at odds with modern medical knowledge. 
Doc, I gotta tell you, you're, uh, you're not telling me what I hope to hear today. 